Hi, I'm Danielle Flynn. I'm Joel Squeegee Morgan. And we are in Berkeley for City of the Week. Right now we're hanging out at Armadillo Printwear. This is John. John, you've been working here for 14 years. Correct. Which is half the time that Armadillo's has been open. They've been right here in Berkeley for 28 years, which is pretty amazing. And they've been making everybody look good with their custom shirt designs ever since then. You were telling me this poster is for obviously the Pinewood Derby, which leads into the Woodward Dream Cruise, correct? Yeah, yeah it's and usually uh, the Dream Cruise weekend and it's held at the neighbor shop down the street. And the gentleman who does the artwork on this? Troy Dirksy is so, one of the owners of the neighbor shop. Awesome, and so Troy helps out obviously at a very high level with the, the Pinewood Derby, but he just enjoys doing the artwork, so he comes up with these posters every year, which is pretty cool, man. See how everybody creative is drawn to? That's why we're here, actually. Joel and I are hit or miss on the art <laughs> project, but um, John has given Joel a little bit of a tutorial on how to silk screen a t-shirt. So That's right. Joel's going to try that out, I am. I and we'll see how he does with that. very good attention here. We put it on the rack here, line it up really as carefully level as we can to make sure that the print is exactly square and righteous, oh right? And then we that turn this, you spin this one. and you spin that one. Yep. Okay, all right, we're gonna spin the top layer. Oh my God, stop moving. We're gonna lock it in place, yep. and we're gonna push this one down, yep. and lock that into position. Very good. We got our soap screen, which has been pre-produced right here. And we got our ink right there. We're gonna squeegee it out. It takes Joel 12 right, hours to make one t-shirt. Here, here we go, All right, squeegee Joel. All right. That looked pretty well, good, Joel. Squeegee. That was smooth. No, squeegee pretty back. thick. No, I would just start back over here. All right. Put down a little more pressure. Bring right. your angle up a little Under bit. Under pressure. Yeah, just like that. There you go. Under pressure. You know, armadillos are delicious. That's perfect. <laughs> when did you eat armadillo? I didn't. I just am trying to be funny. I okay, so there. from are here, you ready? Joel's going to see how he did. Da, 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 oh, that looks pretty good. Now, Joel has to carefully remove the t-shirt and put it onto the heater, and that's where the design will dry onto the t-shirt and it'll be ready for sale. What? Dude, what's this in that's here? That's fine. Oh, we're gonna, that'll come oh, off the wash. Oh, that's gonna be fine. Oh, what's this up oh. here? Oh, that's hot. Oh my oh, God. Oh, well, God. John's got two t-shirts, so let me, let me yeah, give it a try. All right. Might need a little more ink on there, but it's just okay. All right, I'll flatten you ink. All right, so some other cool history of Berkeley. What are, oh, don't get your hair. Don't get your hair in there, Donnie. That I think is super cool. Vincetta's Garage. That actually opened in 1919, and it was opened by a Hungarian immigrant named Mike Kurda. And he came to the area to work at the very first car plant, the Ford car plant. And then he was like, hey man, you know, these cars, sooner or later, they're gonna break down, they're gonna need to get fixed. So he sent himself to mechanic school, opened up Vincetta's garage, and it was open for 91 years. It was open on Woodward before Woodward was even paved, and Woodward was the first paved road in the entire USA. And if you go there, ask for an armadillo burger. <laughs> okay, so obviously now it is a restaurant. It closed as a garage in 2010. Somebody else bought it, and the intention was to make it like a um, car show place, but that didn't go past the planning stage. And then the people who own it now, a husband and wife team, Bought it as a restaurant. Am I straight on this? You're good. Go ahead and just slant it so it should lock right into place. All right. I'm feeling good about this. And that's what they do. They go through and they find buildings and they redo them. And then pull it towards your body. Okay. Go ahead. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't want to drip. No, that looks pretty good. Go ahead and pull it one more time just for safety. Safety. That's good. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, I just about to go get bags. Oh, that's great. All right. Go ahead. So now I'm going to pull See? up. Right, thank you. So you the right. husband and wife team who bought armadillos. Now I want you to take notice how I don't have this extra black crap down here like Joel you, you did. You still have to pull the shirt off. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, okay. They're the same people who own Honcho. Came to buy the... Yeah. WWJ original radio station. They also want to make a uh, eatery out of that as a historical venue right at uh, Eight Mile and North End. <laughs> Just oh, notice you have your shirt on, Joel. Yeah, I've got my shirt on. Donnie, don't get caught in there. I'm not, dude. Hey, Donnie. Speaking of artwork, what about those murals? The murals of Berkeley. Berkeley's known for their murals. We actually talked about that at the beginning of the video, Steven. Steven. We did. Oh. 
Yeah. We did outside. There is a huge mural here at Armadillo's, and John, you were saying you've actually painted one of Berkeley's murals also. I did. Yeah, I did the purple hand on the side of Georgia Shoe Repair. There you go. You go pass that off to Joel. I every day. Joel lives in Berkeley. So does Stephen, but they're not on the Wikipedia page. I checked. They keep Steven taking Joel down. They they took you down immediately, <laughs> Stephen. Joel at least got to stay up there for like 20 minutes. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's right. true. Hey, we are on the marquee in downtown on the Berkeley Theater. Did you know that? We're I official. Know. We're, ah, we're in Berkeley for 94.7 W CSX. Oh, oh, the unveiling, the unveiling. There you City go, Diary. City of the Week. Uh, City of the Week. Look at me. Ow, ow. I'm an artist. Here, here.